Chris, thank you. And now to our other big story, and this graphic says it all. The Pacers have clinched the series. CBS Sports' Chris Woodlick joins us now to start our coverage. Chris, the Pacers took care of business tonight with some unlikely heroes. The bench brigade brought yeah. it. I mean, they had the best bench all season long in the NBA, and they made the difference. Series clincher at the field. Let's go to the highlights. Veteran head coaches Rick Carlisle and Doc Rivers have been here before. The elimination games are about as tough as it gets. After an early Bucks lead, Indiana turned it on. Tyrese Halliburton was aggressive, drives, scores, gets fouled, Pacers up a dozen at halftime, and the Indiana bench took it from there. Obi Toppin was feeling it, scores in the lane. He led the way with 21. And how about TJ McConnell, a major difference maker. After struggling in the series, he made it happen when it counted the most. 20 points, 9 assists. Indiana blows out the Bucks 120 to 98 to win the series, four games to two. Congratulations to our guys. You know, first time in 10 years our, our fans have had this kind of feeling. And so that's, uh, that's, a, that's a great thing um, for this city and the state. You know, just uh, really, really, really happy for our guys. A total team effort and the drought is over. And now the Pacers wait to see who they'll play next and where the Eastern Conference semifinals will open next week. To a man, every Pacer player gave credit to the fans for helping them get over the top. CBS4's Michael Van Skoik has more on the excitement from the Blue and Gold faithful at the Fieldhouse. Well, Pacers fans are revved up tonight. We saw a sea of gold coming out of Gainbridge Fieldhouse tonight as the night is young for many of those fans as they went straight downtown to carry on their celebration. And the excitement out here was absolutely unbelievable as fans get ready for round two. I think it's one of the best things that could happen to the city. We proved that we're a young team that can compete. They can all freaking shoot it and they know it. They're passing and whoever wants to take it, takes it. They are a young team, team players, and I freaking love the Indiana Pacers. I haven't been this excited since back in like 2013, 14, 15 when Paul George was here. Like I'm like so, like so hyped. And back then I wasn't even that big of a basketball fan, so being a big basketball fan now, it just hits me in the feels. Now amid all the chants and cheers tonight, I think a lot of fans are still shocked that Pacers basketball is now officially a part of the month of May, and they want that ball to keep rolling. I mean, like they say, this is May, right? And what a start to the month it's been. It's May, Indianapolis, nothing better, especially playoff basketball. It's been a while, you know, this could be our first time in 10 years to advance the second round. So we're, uh, we're pumped and obviously the city loves the month of May. So this is a great start to it. For many young Pacers fans, this is a brand new experience. I've been a Pacers fan since I was a little kid and I've always dreamed to come to a playoff game. This is my first playoff game, this is my first game. Pacers game of all time. As thousands of fans continue to rep Navy and Gold into the postseason, they say it's been exciting to see such a new level of team spirit. You know, it's just nice to get out to some of the uh, playoff games here. Went to one on uh, last Friday. It's pretty electric in the stadium. You know, filled head to, I mean, top to bottom with fans, and it's just a good time. We got Caitlin Clark coming to the Fever. We have the Columbine here, the All-Star game here in February. There's just been so much publicity for the city, and I think it's been awesome. Fans we spoke to all afternoon and evening long say they are confident in this team and are looking forward to what they can accomplish against the 76ers or the Knicks. In downtown Indianapolis, I'm Michael Van Skoik.